welcome to Galactic Science with Nemgo. Where slimes can breathe in space. Whee! We're in space! Whee! This Wait, mod get off pack, the roof. <laughs> this mod pack is created by people and their names <laughs> and links are in the description. Links we, to the Feed we, the Beast forums. We did our research, didn't we, Nem? We did our research and couldn't pronounce one of the names, so we thought it best not to pronounce just Kathleen and the other Is one... Is that not the one that we couldn't pronounce? No, the other one we couldn't pronounce. Well, at least we couldn't understand what it was supposed to sound like. So rather than saying just Kathleen made Galactic Craft Science, we decided it's just Galactic Craft Science made by people. Links in the description. Thank you very much. <gasps> Could be Martians. Could or be Martians. I like the way we move. I like the way <laughs> you. I like the way you walk. <laughs> Your arms and stuff move it's slightly differently. Want to shut the door? Awesome. There's a crazy man. There's a crazy if man. Only here. you could shut the door. Uh, this is a very strange survival-based mod pack. For a start, we've got oxygen and limited amounts of it. We've got food and limited amounts of it. We've got quests in the form of the HQM quest book, and we've got to try and get through those. We've got a tree, we've got we've a got place, sand. we've got some sand, we've got a bed, we've got mine chem to make things happen, and downstairs we've got a Galactic Craft oxygen thing that makes oxygen, got this. but has no power, and we've got this thing over here which is something to do with this thing. Which is super massive tech. Super tech sexiness. And, and that's a star harvester. I'm sure we will understand <gasps> how all that Do, works. Can you go there and like order a pint and have some food? It's the harvester. Yeah. It's not a restaurant, is it? It's oh. it's a machine oh, for right. harvesting. I, I just stars. thought we could go there and like, you know, maybe meet Arnie. I'd rather go to the little chef. Showing your age there, but <laughs> But anyway, folks, we better get cracking on because, like I say, we're up against it. We've got limited oxygen and all that kind of stuff. We're going to start with whatever the quest book tells us and then veer off like we love to do from there. I've just put 3D mode on because, like, uh, I'm cool. Uh, we've got two quests done. What's this all about? Okay, okay. <clears throat> we've got ignition and lift off. Earth is doomed. Grab your rocket and embark to the emergency station on the moon. Okay, we've done that. We're here. We're on the moon. This is the startup. So it's giving us some freebies at the start. Do we want to do our group quest things? Party yeah. up. Yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, let's, let's how party to do up. It. No, but neither do I. <laughs> I'm gonna make it up as I go along. Then I'll create a party called Nemgo, and it's life settings, shared lives, reward settings, multiple rewards. Should we do? We'll do multiple rewards just to make it a bit quicker for the viewers to see us progress. Or do you want yeah, to make no. it hard for us? No, no, let's make it easy. I mean, let's let's do it normal. Okay, so we, we both get the rewards, which will make it slightly quicker for us to progress through the pack. Uh, we're not here to grind in front of the camera. Uh, invite player... Uh, but can we twer twerk? Can we twerk in front of the player? <laughs> can we talk? Uh, twerk. I have sent you an invite, so now you receive the invite, and we um, should be on the party. The invite says, "No, you don't do that." Except. Okay, so we are now in a party. Okay, so now we're I in a party. Now joined in holy matrimony. <laughs> oh, thank you. And now, if we get these rewards, we should both get them. Yes. Oh. So the ignition one. This is like our starting kit that we get. We get a star. We get That's some cans me. of food. We get some heavy oxygen tanks and an energy conduit. Claim it. Wow, I just, I just like lost slowness and mining fatigue. Maybe because I'm holding a brown dwarf star. Wow, I'm holding a brown dwarf oh, star. Oh, yeah. You see it? It gives you mining fatigue for holding it. Wow. I paint it red. Does that mean it's a, it's a red, red dwarf, dwarf star? star. <laughs> Do you remember in Crash Landing where we called our party Red Dwarf? Yeah. Or was it Blue Dwarf? Or I think it was Blue Dwarf. Blue Dwarf. I think we called ourselves Blue Dwarf. Or Blue Midget. That was it. Blue Midget. Which is also from Red Dwarf. If people know what Red Dwarf is in the series. Yeah, they're now all thinking, what the hell are what these What the hell are they talking about? Um, For the next quest, the heavy oxygen tanks we've just been given. 
Yeah. Those give us the charcoal or another oxygen tank. Well, I think as we've got like eight oxygen tanks now, I think and we're going to lose two. Why are we going to lose two? They're not going to take them for this quest. Uh, no, you don't have to hand them in. Ah, uh, okay. Says in top right. So should we pick charcoal? I'm claiming charcoal, yes. Because we've got more than enough of the tanks to be able to do refueling of ourselves, aren't we? The Dwarf Star, though, that's like the first part of Supermassive Tech thing going on there. And I have no idea how Supermassive Tech works yet. But there is another quest in the line, Wield the Power of the Stars. Uh, okay, I'll read it. And we'll see if we can understand what to do with it, okay? Yep. Well, okay, it's a small star you've got there. I should think so, because I've got it in my pocket, <laughs> for one. Not to say a dwarf, but we can use its power in the emergency system. Quickly find the emergency system and locate the star container. That's that thing that you had earlier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, then insert the container, con container? container <laughs> followed by the star into the harvester. Okay, and that gave us a claim reward. I'm going to pick the bone crook. And if you get the extra piece of dirt, then we've got an extra piece of dirt. Because we've already technically picked that up, haven't we? Yep. So uh, do you want to do the honours of blowing the place up? Yeah, why not? Because from what I can see of this, it was something weird going on. Harvester, harvest the powers of stars, outputs at the rate of the star inside. Activate venting mode by shift right clicking the top face must be upright. Once the star is out of power, it will go critical. Better run. Bye. <laughs> Once the star is critical, it's what well, then it doesn't say what we Bye. do with it. It doesn't say yes, what we do with it when it breaks, but but that is giving power to the oxygen collector. So right. it's already hooked up underneath the floor somehow. Magic. That'll be where this pipe goes down into it's the floor. It's magic. It goes up and underneath there. So oh, that's, that's connected already, which is good. Is it connect it's connected to the energy storage as well, which means that we should be able to put our tanks in the energy storage and fill them up. Yep, it's doing that job. So we need to get a chest down here that we can put our oxygen tanks in. So as it creates oxygen, which it'll just do automatically, constantly, because this tree does it, uh, it will use this power from the Dwarf Star, and we'll have oxygen supplies. Have you got, have you got that crook? Crook, yes, I've got a crook. It's a crook. Do you want to crook that tree out there? I'll crook this tree. Uh, I'll get the bottom block of wood, because I like the message that comes up. It's really quiet on the moon. Our game well, sounds aren't really low or anything, is it? No. <clears throat> no, no. Oh, no, it's a firework. Oh, wow, fireworks work on the moon. Fireworks work on the moon? That's good, isn't it? Oh, I've got a worm, and now I'm... I couldn't break yeah, the wood the worm. Yeah, has got worms. That's for the uh, Ex Nihilio. I've got ah, worms. Everything now. rolls around all over the place. Okay, I've got wood. That's awesome. Okay. So, whew, fireworks on the moon. Awesome. We've got we've got to get started by making sieves and things like that as well. There, I don't think there's any tinkers in this pack. So I don't think we've got any no. tinkers to do. But I just want to make a... Wow, there's four place. There's, <gasps> there's Europa... O, Oi, or whatever. Mercury, Pluto, Venus. There's a wormhole. There's extra planets as well as the the, the galactic craft basics like the moon and um, Mars and those. Have you created the light? Uh, got the light oxygen tank. Have I created the light oxygen? No, tank? have you claimed it? Sorry. Claimed. Uh, mm. Let me see. There to Messi. Which one is that? Uh, I've the, that. the figure. The figure fail? No, no, no. That is oh, well. we, a wrong dimension for me, right? Because you started on the overworld. Let's just be frank about it, and had to get up here in order to uh, play through from where we're supposed to begin. So Ego got all of the Galactic Graph stuff, came to the moon, and because he was in the wrong dimension, he got this fail quest completed. Um, have you made a crafting table? Not yet, no. Right, no. I'm going to make one. Okay. Trees on the moon, we make a wooden axe, and we get some more oak saplings and a stone axe. And there is trick tree capacitor in... Will you stop letting off fireworks in the house? There is tree capacitor in this pack as well. I'm going to make a chest 
out of my wood and put it downstairs by the oxygen creator so we can have something transferred. Oh, I should have picked saplings then. What? Uh, I picked... Um, that's full. That's good. The, take this one out. Shall I make another tree? Yeah, do more trees. Do more trees. I'm going to put the full oxygen tanks and empty oxygen tanks in the chest by the oxygen compressor. Okay, so you know where to find oxygen when you need it. Um, I've still got a fair amount, so it's good now at the minute. So we get the trees on the go. We got some bone meal from something as well, don't we? Yeah, I got some bone meal. Uh, I want to set a tree out somewhere a bit further away, a little bit further away, that we can set up for string in the ex nihilio fashion. I've got one of those worms that the bone crook gave out. So I'm going to set that up and just have that growing over here. So we can get straight onto string and sieving and stuff. So put the silkworm in there and leave it. Uh, uh -huh. If we just... Well, we're just going to need... We need to get a magnet. We need to what? Get a, a bloody magnet of some sort. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, good idea. Um, yeah, we can make other bits and pieces like crooks uh, and stuff out of things. When I've we just claimed out. the uh, the, the vacuum turf. cleaner. Okay. Moon turf. So we need to make a sieve then. Are we anywhere near making a sieve? No, because no, we, we need, need the string cob. first. Do you want to use this? I've got bone meal here. Have you got bone meal? I've got some bone meal, yeah. Uh, there was a quest to get uh, a wooden axe. You've already done that, haven't you? Yep. So I get a stone axe and you get one. I claim the dirt because that's better than anything else in it. And with three capacitor we can go on from there. Vacuum cleaner, you've got the turf, which means we've got a shovel. Awesome. It's quite quick to get started, isn't it? Oak yeah. sieves the next... So thing. weird not having sound, though. Yeah, because we, we get the sound of things going on, don't we? But we don't get the sound as in actual real sound as we're doing stuff, we get the HQM quest reward sounds. How come the tree capacity didn't work when I press shift? Because that's... Not supposed to... Oh, man, look at him. That's uh, vein miner. Vein miner, that's right, yeah. that's right. I've been used to doing vein miner in my race to the moon, and now I'm on the moon, I can't use it anymore. <laughs> Good job. Bang. I'm going to guess it's just normal standing up, since it's taking me forever to break this. You yeah. hit the bottom block, yeah. Mm. And oh, then it all apple, floats around apple. all over the place. It's crazy. The moon and gravity. It's awesome how they managed to put gravity in Minecraft, though. Yeah, it's cool. But we do need something of a magnet at some point when we've got some bits and pieces to do things. Would be nice. We've got some apples now as well. We could eat apples. I don't know why we got started with the canned apples. I guess that's just to promote the feel of us being... In space. Lost in space, but on the moon. Oh, yeah, lost in space, but on the moon. I'm going to make another chest for wood supplies as well. And another chest for miscellaneous stuff that's going to clog up our inventories if we don't. So I'll put a chest next to the crafting bench for miscellaneous. And I'll put a chest out here, right there, for saplings, what? bone meal and wood supplies and stuff, okay? And oh, I'll put apples in there as well. By the crafting table, I think I'll just chuck in the cans of food that I'm not holding on to. So yeah, that sounds like. And the dwarf that. star as well. I'm going to put that in there because I don't really want to carry that around with me. The energy conduit that will be useful for something a bit later, and a spare quest book. All that kind of crap can go in there. That's fine. Uh, we've got to worry about night time as well on this place. So perimeter defenses. Wow, it's already losing lots of time. We have very long days and very long nights on the moon. All right, so mobs spawning on the moon is very, very hostile, and they can bounce. What was that come from? How just, high can they I bounce? I just got a tin canister arrive. Where did that come from? Did you throw it? No. A tin canister just landed from nowhere. How high can they jump? How high can they jump? They can jump a few blocks, the same as we can. They've got less, They've got no gravity, the same as us. Right, so, so if I can't jump it, then they can't jump it. I think we should just block our door off during the daytime. Yeah, but then we're going to be stuck inside, aren't we? Yes. We have a bit of a wall around the trees, I suppose, if that's what you're planning. We can have a bit of space. We can fight some of them off if they come over the wall. I am fighting nothing off. I'm scared. You don't be that scared. Come on. I'm trying to survive. Uh, another thing is torches don't work in the moon. No, so they need to be that glowstone. We, we don't light anything in the moon either, so that's no good. 
Right, the oak sieve. Let me see if I can get something going with a crook. And uh, I've got another uh, silkworm here, by the way. That's good. I'll have that off you in a minute then. I'm going to get three crooks and go and deal with this tree. Uh, in fact, if you give me the silkworm, I can get a second tree going before the first one gets knocked down. It's Catch about four more that way. You don't take any fall damage, though, at least. That's pretty good. Yeah, I suppose that's good. Especially the amount that you... The amount that I fall, is that what you're about to yeah. say? Especially, like... It's not my fault, man. It's not my fault. Okay. So we want two trees that are close enough together. They're always, like, two blocks out, two blocks out there. Close enough together so that they can have this all going on if you want them to. I like the dirt, the moon dirt. Moon turf and stuff. No, moon dirt. The actual dirt bit, yeah. yeah I like the texture of it. It's not bad, is it? Galacticraft's got a lot of cool textures in overall. It's quite nice. But we, uh, we, I think we've got to go all around the world and aye, 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 aye and all that. We've got to go to all the different planets. <gasps> I think the Can we call you Mr. Fog? Mr. What? Phileas we Fog, it, and we go we around the world 80 in 80 days. days. Yeah, yeah. Well, we technically go around the world every day because we're on the moon. But not in an air balloon. <laughs> not in a hot air balloon, no. We go around the world in every day because we're on the moon and we're travelling very, very fast. But that's by the by. This is not a science lesson. This is galactic science, which basically is Minecraft modded up to give us all sorts of weird things that we can do and try and survive on the moon. We got this, baby. We got this. Let's we have. Just... Yeah. Let me uh, see. Is that fully infested? Yes, it is. That's one piece of string. Fully infested. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, Get we've, up. Got, we've got a little bit of grinding to do to start this series, as we do for every single Minecraft series. But I have a feeling that we're going to be able to get progression through here fairly quickly. The end tech, the tech that's like uber actually at the end at the, well at the end all the way through there's apparently i we haven't experienced this yet but there's apparently a very good set of uh, tech tree difficulty so we can't unlock some of the future tech big massive awesome technology until we've been to some of the other planets like certain certain blocks and things don't become available to us until we've been to other planets so we can go on an explore well, we're going to have to make rocket ships and go off and all that kind of stuff. Explore the galaxy. Well, where's the one I came in? <laughs> where's the one you came in? Technically, the one I came in um, blew up, and the one exactly. you came in, well, you just forgot to. Uh, well, pick it I'm up. sorry. How about the one that the storybook <laughs> wrote? The yeah. the one that the storybook says we came on. Yeah. I know. Oh, they could still get it. I don't know. Maybe it gives us one during the quest in at some point. I don't know. Uh, but I do have a little bit of string now, so I'm going to see if I can make the sieve and get started on that. We've got a bit of sand down here as well. Yeah, uh, we need for? to we need to sieve up to the point where we've got things like seeds and stuff, don't we? So let me remind myself on sieving technology. Uh, 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 uh. Sieve. It's a I E V E. That's it. We do have the automatic sieves on here as well. Uh, they rock. They They're rock amazing. and roll, they do. I need mm, five more, four more, four more silk, four more string. But this tree's nearly done, so I'm good with that. Uh, if only they weren't floating around. I think that adds a little bit of extra difficulty. Everything like you're cats. harvesting flows around and you've got to harvest it like that. Uh, How are we going to get cobble? Boom. By getting stone through the sieve. Those little stones, you remember? Oh, yeah. Way back when so, we started. Oh, totally I remember. Not at all. I mean, yeah, I do. Yeah. You get those little bits of stone and you put them together to make your first bit of cobble and then we make a something to make a cobble gen and then we do something else. And So yeah. can we sieve watch, uh, moon dirt? Uh, yes, I think you can. I think that's a meant to be. Because otherwise thing. it's going to have to be. We're going to have to... Yeah. How are we going to do it? Because we won't be... Able, I don't know. We won't be able it's to get fine. rainwater and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's many little problems that... We're going to die! Hopefully we can solve. Um, the pack's been built around this principle. So I'm hoping that we don't have to worry too much about these kind of, of things. we have to worry. We're playing it. Yeah, well, that's okay. We can do this, Ego. We can do this. I know I can. Oh, whoops. 
Uh, wood and sticks. That's easy enough. I can manage this. See? Wood and sticks. That's all I need. Nailed it. Nailed it. I can do this. It's like vanilla Minecraft on the moon. It's easy. Ooh, what's that? Okay, got a sieve. I'm going to put the sieve next to the chest by the crafting bench for now and see if I can sieve moon turf. Yes, she can sieve moon turf. Da da da. And I got found, some glowstone from something. it. Found something then. I got two pieces of glowstone and a piece of flint from sieving moon dirt. That's, why is that there? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? What have you found? Anything um, good? I found a chiseled block. A chiseled block? Well, the base is made of chiseled blocks. Yeah, but I'm not it? next to the base. Well, I am, but... Oh, that's uh, that's probably a marker for, like, copy-pasting as a template. <laughs> like this one over here, this moon rock over here. I think there's four moon rocks, one in each corner, so I think they were sort of templating uh. where they were going to put the, put the base so they could copy-paste it into the world save when they were creating the map. I think that's all those are. Uh, but now we've got some moon turf, I will just sieve up a bit more moon turf and check things out. It didn't look like you could decompose the moon turf, because there was nothing under the microscope that gave us any sort of mine chem stuff. So it's only really useful for doing such and such. <gasps> oh, we get silicon dioxide from flint though. That's good. So the flint is a good resource. Bone meal, we get titanium dioxide which is meh, I don't think I know what that needs <laughs> I don't know what that is exactly there's some that I know are fairly useful like carbon for instance from charcoal so a tree farm and all that kind of stuff is cool I think one of the first quests that we go into is probably going to be progressive automation because you've got your death potato haven't you that is amazing that death potato it haunts me forever it haunt you forever and ever and ever and ever well, Still at least saying, you've got a death just potato. Just that one comment. One comment. Just one no. little comment, and you've got a death potato every one time. One little you slightly every... stereotypical comment. Yeah. Well, what can I say? The only things that I've got from doing moon turf at the minute has been glowstone, redstone, flint, bone meal, and gunpowder. Can you not use glowstone to make torches, though? I don't think think you can make glowstone torches yes you can because that's galactic craft nailed it nailed it well done so we can light up around the area with glowstone torches da -da 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 -da. that's f7 this uh f7's not working don't say that is f7 not a thing uh, please be a thing, F7. No, there was one version of Forge, weren't there? That wasn't playing nicely with it. Oh, okay. Guaranteed maybe, that we're on that Maybe one. that we're on that one, yeah. We're on the version of Forge that doesn't like it. Uh -huh. I'm just grabbing all the moon turf that you've left lying around. Yeah, I was coming back for that. And we can just light bits of the wall and things like that. I'll just, I'll just put a few torches down. It's got to make a difference. Maybe F7 just doesn't work on the moon. Mm, maybe. Maybe that's a thing. I thought it did, but could be mistaken. I just put a few on oh, the Oh, not mistaken then. Because we do have a lot of resources on the moon, don't we? Because we've got a lot of things that we can get. One of the things that I do want to start off with is a pick to go and get those fallen meteorite bits because they have some cool bits in it. Uh, cool I've, uh, I've cut my base up. I've, I've cut it's, my wall up. Start again. Start again. <clears throat> oh, it's moon dirt that makes stone. Okay. Moon turf, the topsoil, makes all of the interesting materials. And moon dirt makes the stone that we need to make cobblestone. And I haven't seen any clay or anything like that yet for us to be able to make a... Uh, a f crucible that's the word isn't it we need to make a crucible, uh, crucible. Do we need... yeah we do Probably, yeah. we are going to need to make a crucible aren't we unfired crucible porcelain clay clay itself is synthesized we can synthesize it or we can sieve moon rock we sieve moon rock with a chance of getting clay so moon rock is that something that you've seen already apart from those four that are just lurking around yeah there was some down with that um 
that chisel block. Okay, oh, so the under under surface. It's the underbelly. The underbelly of the beast. I want to keep checking my quests as well. Oh, look at that! I just made a pickaxe, and the reward for the oak sieve is stone pickaxe. Jeez, oak barrel to decompose stuff to get other bits. That big ball of dirt is still floating above you, and here you struggle for some. Get a barrel and compost your surplus saplings into it. Don't waste your last ones. So, yeah, we make an oak barrel to compost things, and that's it for that section. But I'm going to get some of this moon rock. And, whoa, there's another meteorite just dropped down. We've got to be careful of that as well, you know. Yeah, do you know what else we've got to be careful of? Mobs, because it's going to get dark soon. Running out of stuff. Running out of things, running out of oxygen. No blocks. Oh, I'm going to pick up all these blocks that have just been dropped on the floor thanks to a meteor hitting the ground very quietly. What do you like for food? Uh, I've got loads of food. I put load of spare food in the chest by the crafting bench. I've not eaten anything yet. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing much for my prop, my health right now. It doesn't seem to be doing any anything at all. I uh, I possibly haven't been doing as much work as you. Uh, this fallen meteor does not look like it wants to break with a stone pick. I'm going to carry on breaking it until it can we get moon out of existence. Can we get moon? No, you've got to you let can... them call, haven't you? Yeah, I've let the other. I'm letting the other one call. Oh, this right. one looks like it's been here for a while. But it also looks like I'm just going to break it and it's going to disappear. I don't think this is the right tool level for the job. But I'm just going to experiment because it might just take a long time with a stone pick. It might. So viewers, don't be shouting at me. I'm shout just... at him. Shout at him. This Love is an experiment to see him. if I can claim these with a stone pick or whether it just breaks them. There's plenty of them around and there will be plenty more. There won't. But it's our only one. You're wasting it's it. It's the only one. It may just take a very long time. It's the Highlander of the game. I'm just seeing. Just checking. Before we go around and collect them all, I want to see if I'm wasting 10 minutes of my time. Because it's taking a very long time. Yeah, it's just broken. Okay, so yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Don't bother trying to use the stone pick on uh, meteorites. But I am going to collect all of this rock that we need for a bit as well. Because, well, that's going to be useful. Uh, also, we need to maybe start digging underneath the base. Just so that we've got a nice safe place under the base. Well, get me a Tinker's Pick that upgrades. A and Tinker's Pick, so you could just... Yeah, I don't think we've got... Quarry 9001. Uh, we need a quarry. That would be 1002. nice. 1002. We've got Ender I.O., so we've got a kind of a quarry. Yeah, but it's but not, like... not the quarry. And you're doing a good job of building a big, massive wall around here. Yeah, I'm future-proofing it. <laughs> you do have a long day ahead of you, because uh, we're about halfway through the moon's day, and we're about to have a very long moon night. So how many more torches have we got? I can just sieve a load more of this stuff and make a load more torches. So I can I can do that very quickly, very soon. I'm just getting some more string. I think if we had two sieves, then during the long nights when we're cozying on down together, we can just uh, say thank you very much for watching and just get um, to sieving everything Are you together. sieving dirt or are you sieving turf? I'm sieving whatever I've got in my inventory. I've got some... Well, what, where, where, oh, you're over there. Uh, what's best? Uh, the turf was for good stuff like the glowstone, and the dirt, I think, was for the stone, which we're also going to need for making There's cobble. There's 31 behind you. And oh, it's the moon the rock. Sky or somewhere. I just grabbed some moon rock so that I could get started on making the crucible so we can make, well, get clay to make the, the crucible so that we can start making lava for lava power and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully. Go down. I'll put those in there. Yeah, that'll so. do. Alright, so moon rock. Let's see if I can see. That's what we rock. need to watch. Yeah. Does what? this thing use energy? What? When there's a a full tank in there. You know like the oxygen tank? Um uh, maybe it does, yeah. Okay, this moon rock didn't give me anything twice. Don't be three times. Three times. Can we make a uh, a hopper? Two hoppers. Will that work? Four times and I got a coal. Wow, that's bad. 
that rock, I had to put four pieces of rock in before I got one piece of coal out of it. Ooh. That's terrible. Uh, are you doing your oxygen? Yeah, I'll just swap in the tanks, Sean. Okay, is there a full one in there at the minute? Just about to be. Okay. Uh, just two seconds. Three seconds. Do -do 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 -do. 20 seconds. That's on the floor. It's uh, floating around behind. the room somewhere. It's behind the thing. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got a good start. That's not too bad, is it? We've got a good start. I'll uh, just. I thought I heard a gas then, but it's your cat. <laughs> my cat in the background. Oh my Did you God. hear that? <laughs> Must want feeding. Oh, that's good. Or letting out, or some more milk or water or something. It must be ready for something. Shut up, cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ball, Will. All right. Well, are we about done for this episode? It's a nice so. little introduction. Yeah? I think so. Well, thank you all very much for watching this first episode in a new uh, dramatic Nemgo series. The uh, Galactic Science, full of, well, Sorry. reminiscent mods from our crash landing days together. And the cats that pretend they're gas. <laughs> cats that are gas. Well, the, cat, the gas noise was actually a cat, wasn't it? But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. We're going to grind out a little bit more, finish off building the wall, and possibly survive the first night. And see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Say goodbye, Ego. Goodbye, Ego. Go.